What is up, photo fam? It's your boy Eddie here. Here, also known as Eddie H Photo. How y'all doing today? Today we got an exciting new video. I am going to be showing you how to take senior photos. This is going to be mainly for beginners, and if you are on a budget, this is going to be tips and tricks and methods you can use to improve your photos. Or if you're just starting out. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right. So obviously, the title says that we're going to be on a budget. So what camera and equipment do I have? Well, today I brought the Canon EOS M50. The EOS M50 is a budget mirrorless camera, great for beginners, students, and more. Along with that, I have the Canon 50mm 1.8 lens. Now you may be thinking, oh, that's not a mirrorless lens. Well, you're right. So accompanying it, I have a Viltrox adapter. I have a whole video on this if you want to click up here and check it out. This allows you to use your DSLR cameras on the Canon EOS M50 or other Canon mirrorless cameras. It's, it's pretty dope. Alrighty, we've covered equipment. Now I want to talk about a few things that you will need when starting to take photos. The first thing is going to be locations. Here I am in Bridgeland, and with Bridgeland, there's a uh there's bridges. There's obviously plenty of different areas that you can choose for locations. If you want to be in the city or in nature like I am right now, you have plenty of options. It's very easy to Google locations near you and scouting is something that I would highly recommend. Checking out the area before you come, that way you get the best feel of what you want to do when you actually get there. Naturally, when you're at your location, you're going to want to know what kind of gear you're using. Since I am kind of in a shaded area, I'm going to want a lens with either a low aperture or a camera that can get really good lighting performance when it's dark. I'm going to set the aperture all the way down to 1.8 since I am in a shaded area. ISO, since I'm just starting out, I can either leave to auto. I am only going to be messing with the shutter speed. When you normally shoot seniors, they might be a little bit fidgety, so I am going to be shooting at a higher shutter speed. Mel is actually not a senior. Um, maybe a senior citizen, joking. 23. But typically seniors are 17 to 18 year olds. They might be a little bit fidgety. So having a shutter speed a little bit higher, maybe anywhere between two to 400 might be a good option. I am gonna go ahead and get started. Obviously you wanna make sure the senior's name. What's your name? Melanie. Melanie? Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the POV shot from the DJI Pocket 2, which is what you are looking at right now. As you can see, Melanie has a nice depth of field behind her. You can see the bridge in the background. However, it is very blurred out. That is a really nice effect called bokeh. Typically seniors pose in a more conservative type of way, but you can get very creative with it. When posing, you wanna direct a lot with your hands. That way you make sure that the model knows exactly what you're doing. So go ahead, stick both feet together. Perfect, turn a little bit this way, perfect. Kick your right leg, perfect. Right hand on hip, left hand, sorry. And if you mess up, laugh it off and try again. So go ahead, put your left hand on your hip and then the other one can be on top of the thigh. As I do know Mel very personally, um, I am gonna be like, hey, can I fix something for you real quick? Can I fix your sure. necklace? Yes. Cool. All right, then I'm gonna adjust it. If I do not know Mel that well, or if it's a client, then I'm going to very carefully ask if I can do something. So right now we are good. Head posing is also very important. You don't want a mug shot facing straight forward. So turn straight onto me. They are not going to jail. So this is not what you want. Now, what did you mean by mug shot, Eddie? Well, let me explain. If we take a look at a photo like this one, we can see that the person is facing straight forward towards the camera arms to the side. This is very awkward as you can see and is not very creative. A good example of a photo facing straight forward is one like this one. There's different lighting effects. The mood is different. He's a little bit more serious and it overall just has better composition. Where Mel is at right now is actually perfect. A little turn and then a tiny tilt. I'm gonna step back a little bit. I'm gonna take a full body shot real quick. Let's start with that. Make sure you also bring bug spray if there are bugs. Bugs. Big smile. Perfect. Now that we're getting back into posing, let me explain a few posing options that you have at your disposal. The two most desirable ones are going to be full bodies and headshots. Let's talk about full bodies for a second. A full body photo is basically getting the entire body in the photo and getting a few inches below the feet and above the top of the head. Typically, people with uninteresting backgrounds like to crop a little bit closer, such as this. This is totally an option. It's all up to personal preference. Turn slightly back to me. That's perfect. There we go. Can you put your hair down? Yeah. Okay. Something you also want to take note is messing with hairstyles. If the person you're taking photos of wants a little bit of variety, that's the best way to do it. Oh, big no-no. Take that scrunchie off right now. Oh. 
Something to keep in mind is sometimes they wear scrunchies or hair ties. Make sure they take these off. If the senior likes to be a little bit quirky, they might want to keep this on. So make sure you remind them if they really want to keep it on or off. So we did full bodies. We did three fourths, which are going to cut right below the knees or above the knees and above the head. Now I'm gonna take close-ups of her face. For these, you really wanna focus on the eyes. Melanie has blue eyes, so I'm really gonna try to accentuate that. You can get pretty creative with how you crop your headshots. Normally, I do. As portraits can get very repetitive, I try to incorporate different elements into them. Here, I have a senior holding a guitar. Clearly, it's not cropped all the way into his face, which means you have a little bit of wiggle room since I have a separate element. Without an element, I try to incorporate things like hands or I try to accentuate the eyes, just like this one. If all else fails, zoom out a little bit, either focus on the haircut or the jewelry they're wearing or the outfit. Really, anything works. Alrighty, here we are by a pavilion. I'm gonna take some sitting down shots of Melanie and we're gonna get back to it. Alrighty, Melanie went ahead and switched outfits a little bit. She just put on a different shirt. Alrighty, so go ahead and have a seat right there on the edge. So for this shot, we normally call it the mermaid pose. But since she's on a ledge, it's gonna be a little bit different. Extend both your feet, but keep them crossed. Just like that, perfect. Put one hand on the side and one hand on top of the thigh or the knee. Perfect, just like that, nice and tall. Turn the face this way. Chin down, little tilt. Right there, perfect. The sun is right behind her, so you are getting a nice golden reflection in the back. I'm gonna get down to eye level. There you go, big smile. Soft smile. All right, now I'm gonna have Melanie sit on one of the benches, scoot to the other edge of the table. A little bit more, perfect. Lean on the table a little bit. Perfect, just like that. A pose I like to do is called the almost claw. So you're gonna curl your fingers, bring your hand up, and then literally rest your hand just like that. Something you wanna do with this one is not have a closed fist and just squish it against your face. That's not gonna look good. So make sure it's like a claw and then gently press it against the face. Gonna look a lot better. For this one, I normally do a soft smile or a serious face. That's just personally. And then do a soft smile. Perfect, that's perfect. Communication is key with these photos. Since they are seniors, they want a little bit more affirmation. So saying things like, oh, perfect, that's good. Or can we tweak a little bit of this? Being nice is gonna take you a long way, especially with the parents. Alrighty, photo fam, I am back in the studio and I just wanted to mention a few more things that could also help your senior photos. Number one is gonna be props. Some of y'all already know this, but adding props such as lettermans, class rings, graduation caps or gowns. Those are just a few things that could definitely help your photos, spice it up a little bit, and they make it more clear that these are senior photos. Because if you're taking photos and the props don't match the theme, say you got a little Pepsi can in the photos, Pepsi, it's not gonna fit the theme, it's gonna be a little bit weird, don't do that. The last thing I wanted to actually mention is setting your own prices. Unfortunately, I can't tell you how to price your stuff. I'm obviously not gonna walk into a Walmart and be like, ah, yeah, this uh, 65 inch Samsung television should be $35. I'm not gonna do that. You need to figure out how to set your own prices. You need to understand the value of your own work, compare it to other photographers. I'm not gonna give you my prices because they sometimes vary between clients. Say if I have to travel, if I have to bring different equipment, these are all factors that you need to keep in your head to charge the client. For senior photos, normally you do them in your area and you set a base price and then charge per hour. That's normally how it works, but you do you obviously, and I can't tell you how to live. Yeah. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps out the channel. If this helped you out, don't forget to drop a comment letting me know how it helped you out, or if you learned something new today. I'll catch you guys in the next video whenever that is. Take it easy guys. Love y'all. Peace out. Bye-bye. Yeah.